Welcome to Preschool Storytime at Donald W. Reynolds Library serving Baxter County. Today we will learn about ninjas. Ninjas are people who practice ninpo or ninjutsu. Ninjutsu training includes martial arts, but mostly it's training on how to act secretly and shh, silently to achieve a goal. A good ninja is not the ninja who fights the best, but it's the one who never gets caught. Now I'm going to do my best to teach you a real ninja skill called sneaky steps. Go find somewhere with a lot of space and I'll show you what to do. Are you ready to learn how to sneaky step? Sneaky steps are good for two things. The first is that they keep your steps quiet. When you step using sneaky steps, people can't hear your footsteps. The second thing they let you do is they help you keep from running into things in the dark. If you reach your hands out and go like this, oh, I ran into it. But if I sneaky step, I touch it so I can keep stepping without running into it. The reason for this is because you're putting your knee really high. So let me show you exactly what you do. First, put your knee up, then point your toe down and touch it to the ground. Now put your heel down. That is a sneaky step. Ready? Let's try it with our other leg. Knee up, toe down, then your heel. Knee up, toe down, then heel. Knee up, toe down, then heel. Do you think you're getting the hang of it? It takes lots of practice before you'll be able to go very fast. But once you are do, you'll be able to sneak up on anybody. And you'll be able to do it in the dark. Let's go ahead and practice some right now. Are you ready? We'll do five steps forward and then five steps back. Ready? Knee up, toe down, heel. That's one. Knee up, toe down, heel. That's two. Knee up, toe down, heel. That's three. Knee up, toe down, heel. That's four. Knee up, toe down, heel. That's five. Now you can do them backwards, which you would be knee up, toe down, heel. But we're going to go ahead and turn around because you've got to practice on how to go forwards before you can learn how to do it backwards. Are you ready? Turn around. Now lift up that knee. Knee up, toe down, heel. Knee up, toe down, heel. That was two. Knee up, toe down, heel. Three. Knee up, toe down, heel. Four. Last one. Knee up, toe down, heel. Five. Great job. Now you can keep practicing that and you'll be super fast and super sneaky. You'll be able to go without making any noise and that would be super awesome. Very ninja-like. Great job with your sneaky steps. Now we're going to talk about a mysterious figure that some people say is the greatest ninjutsu user alive. Can you guess who? How about if I give you a clue? He's jolly and he likes cookies. Need another clue? He has a long white beard and wears a red suit on Christmas. You still haven't figured it out yet? How about one more clue? He has a sleigh with nine reindeer and he delivers presents to children on Christmas Eve. 
That's right, it's Santa Claus. I bet you didn't know that Santa knows many ninjutsu skills. Santa is very, very old, but he still likes to learn. When he found out there was a martial art just for sneaking, well, he and the elves jumped in the sleigh and zoop, went to Japan. It took him a long time and lots of training, but eventually he learned many ninjutsu skills. And now he and the elves are sneakier than ever. Don't believe me? Well, let's read about it in this book, Ninja Claws. Ninja Claws. Last year, I slept through all of it. Santa ate my cookies, drank my milk, and left me this hamster named Ted. Dear Santa, can I have a rat-eating snake this year? I've been really good. Except that one time. I said I was sorry. Love, Maxwell. This year is going to be different. Dear Santa, how are you? I am good, and thanks for Ted. He eats all the celery I don't want. I've been wondering, are elves taller than kids? Can you read minds? Is your sleigh energy renewable? This year, I don't want anything. Just stop by for some milk and cookies and make sure you sit on this red chair. P.S. I hope you can't read minds. P.P.S. Can I still have a rat eating snake? Bang, clank, crash, ouch. Santa. Santa. Thump, 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 thump. Santa, where are you? A ninja isn't afraid of the dark. Clang. Santa. Yup. Brutus, are you okay, boy? Let's find Santa. A ninja's traps are impossible to detect. Yikes! We caught Santa! Squee! Woo, woo. A ninja is surprised. Papa? <gasps> Those are Santa's cookies. Wait, have you been eating them every year? Nuh-uh. What's going on here? Mama, Papa's been naughty. Everyone has been naughty. We're all up way too late. Santa only visits when everyone is asleep. Good night, Ted. Good night, Brutus. Good night, Maxwell. Good night, Cassie. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. The Ninja Claus is sneaky, quick, clever, and kind. When his work is done, the Ninja Claus quietly escapes. Ooh. Mama, Papa, Santa was here. Dear Maxwell, your engineering and ninja skills are very impressive. Do you know how I come and go without being noticed? I wear sneaky Santa shoes made by elves. I had a pair made just for you. Love, Santa. P.S. Elves are much shorter than kids. My sleigh is fueled by the spirit of Christmas, so yes, it is renewable. I cannot read minds, but I can tell if you've been naughty or nice.
It's more of a gut feeling. PPS. No, you can't have a rat eating snake. He will eat Ted. <gasps> Santa is an awesome ninja. Whew. Maxwell, did you get what you wanted this year? I got something even better. Dear Santa, thanks for the awesome ninja shoes. I love them. Please drop by again next year. I'll be waiting with a big surprise. The end. That was a great book, wasn't it? Now it's time for us to sing a song. It's called, If You Are a Ninja and You Know It. Here are the lyrics. Are you ready to sing the If You're a Ninja and You Know It song? Ready? If you're a ninja and you know it, climb a tree. If you're a ninja and you know it, climb a tree. If you're a ninja and you know it, then your silence will show it. If you're a ninja and you know it, climb a tree. If you're a ninja and you know it, try and sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. If you're a ninja and you know it, try and sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. If you're a ninja and you know it, then your silence will show it. If you're a ninja and you know it, try and sneak. If you're a ninja and you know it, shout hiya, hiya! If you're a ninja and you know it, shout hiya, hiya! If you're a ninja and you know it, then your silence will show it. If you're a ninja and you know it, shout hiya, hiya! Great job, everybody! That song was so much fun. I enjoy practicing my ninja skills. Did you know that ninjutsu is not the only martial art that Santa has attempted to learn? While in Japan, Santa learned of an amazing group of warriors called samurai. Santa decided to visit them. They taught him many skills. When the children saw him practicing, they laughed and nicknamed him Samurai Santa. In our next book, Santa uses his samurai skills against a village of little ninjas. Let's read. Samurai Santa, a very ninja Christmas. Christmas Eve was the most perfect snow day of the year. Yukio had never seen such big snowflakes. They seemed full of magic. Yukio dressed for the snow and went outside, where he found himself alone. He needed more ninjas for an epic snowball fight. No, the rope ninjas replied. Santa wants us to be good little ninjas. No, said the balancing ninjas. Good little ninjas practice their skills. No, said the sword fighting ninja. We don't want to be on Santa's naughty list. Yukio felt sad and lonely. It's Santa's fault nobody will play. Santa must be chased away. Yukio was upset. He didn't care about presents or stockings or even lumps of coal. Santa was in the way of a good snowball fight. So Yukio plotted to run Santa out of Ninja Village. All the good little ninjas were asleep, but not Yukio. Santa squeezed, slouched, slithered, and stumbled down the chimney. Well, Yukio waited for the perfect 
moment to surprise Santa. Yukio crept the loudest gong around. Crash! Intruder! Yukio shouted. Everyone wake up! Sleepy ninjas chased the bright red intruder. Who was he? The prowler got away. Ninjas looked and looked. They could not find him anywhere. Suddenly, a samurai stood on the hill with an army of snowmen. Banzai! yelled the samurai. Ninjas and snowmen clashed. They tumbled in the foothills. Snow zoomed across the housetops. Snow flew through the trees. It was epic. When it was finally over, the samurai was nowhere to be found. Tired ninjas marched home. Then Yukio realized his friends would have no presents from Santa and it was all his fault. Yukio had been a naughty ninja. He had chased Santa away. But to Yukio's surprise, the house was full of gifts. There was also a letter for Yukio. Dear Yukio, I hope you enjoyed the epic snowball fight. I made it just for you. Sincerely, Samurai Santa. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. The end. Did you notice that Yukio was the only ninja wearing white? That is because Yukio was the only ninja planning to play in the snow. He wore white because the snow was white. Ninja wear clothes that make them blend into their surroundings. Here I have two ninja. One is wearing black clothes and the other yellow. If they stand in front of a yellow background, which one's easier to see? That's right, the black one. The black one is easier to see because it is a different color than the background. How about now? I've got a black ninja and a yellow ninja standing in front of a black background. Which one's easier to see? That's right, the yellow one is easier to see because it is a different color than the background. For today's craft, we will be making posable ninjas. You can choose to make your ninja any color you want. Just remember, if you want your ninja to stay hidden, they need to be the same color as the place they are hiding. All the parts you'll need are included in a craft kit you can pick up at the library, or you can substitute items from home. Parents, Here's what you'll need. Oh, hi guys. Welcome back. I'm ready to make my posable ninja. I have a craft kit from the children's desk at Baxter County Library. Here's what's inside. I've got the beginnings of a ninja already made. Eight pieces of a blue straw, 
One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And nine beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The first thing I'm going to do is put some beads on his chest so that he'll have feet like this ninja. So I have to put the two legs together, hold them tight, and slide the beads on. I've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to put some straws on for the leg. Let's see, these are close to the same size. So I'm going to put one on this leg and then I'm going to take a, take a bead and that'll be the knee, the knee, the knee. And I'll slide it on. Now I'll take another piece of straw. Ta-da! That's one leg. Now I just need to fold this like so. You'll probably have to have your parents help you with this part. Parents, you're going to curl it around, stick it into the straw, and then bend it like that. And there you have a little foot. Now we're going to do the same for the other leg. We'll take a straw, take a bead, and that'll be the... Do you remember what it was? It was the knee! And now another straw. And now it's time for the parents to make another foot. Ready? Curl it around. Stick it in and bend it forward. Ta-da! He's got two legs. Now what's he need? He needs his arms. We're going to put a straw on his arm and then a bead. What do you think this bead is supposed to represent? How about the elbow? Now we'll grab another straw. And now we need to make a hand. This time we're going to curl it around, then curl it up, and then back down again so that we have a little bitty thumb. Ta-da! Would you like to see that again? We're curling it down, back up, curling it down. Now squeeze it together. Ta-da! It's a little bitty hand. What have we got left to do? We've got an arm, a leg, a leg, and we need the other arm. We're going to put the straw on. Now the bead. And what was the bead again? It was the ninja's elbow. Now the straw. And now it's time to make another little hand. Curl it and curl it back and back again. Oh, I messed up. I guess I'll have to try that again. So we'll straighten it up. We'll curl it back, then curl it again. Ta-da! Squeeze it together. And now we've got another little hand. Look at that! My posable ninja is complete. Now parents, some of you may have started without a craft kit from the Baxter County Library. Here's how you make the top half of your ninja. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take three pipe cleaners, fold two of them, 
in half with a little bit of a loop right there. And this one can be completely tight. This is going to be the head with its arms and this is going to be the legs. This last one is going to be the inside of the face and the ninja mask. So you're going to want to twist this down and twist it around so that it's at least going around three times. Like so. Now you'll stick this in the loop like this and then you're going to slide the part that's going to be the legs. Now it's going to go over this part and over the first of the last part for the loops. So it's going to go right through here. Pull that down, tighten everything up a little bit, make it kind of head shaped. Now you've got this part, which is for the mask, got two arms and two legs. Now I'm going to go ahead and twist it. So you want to twist it tight so it stays in place. So you're going to twist it. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure that's nice and tight. Remember, this is the part that the beads on the chest are going to go on. Now, you just need to put the mask around the face. So, you're just going to loop it around. One, two, then go up, and then go one, two. That'll leave you some space to glue on the eyes. You can use regular glue, but it works a little bit better if you use hot glue. You're going to take this little tail part and stick it right through the back. Little loop she made. Ta-da! And I usually pull the arms and legs down just to make sure. And there you go. You just need to hot glue the eyes on, and then it's ready for the rest of the procedure we did. Now these little poseable ninjas are so much fun to play with. You can make them battle each other. Wah, wah, wah! You can make them sneak around. And with a little loop on the back, you can hang them from your Christmas tree. That's it for today's story time. Thank you for watching. Remember to tune in every Wednesday to watch a new preschool story time or visit our website, vaxlib.org, for more children's activities. Happy reading. See you next time.